What's up y'all, bring you guys another video. So did you guys know that Glenn Tapia recently fought over in Dubai? Well he did. He and he uh, won. He won by TKO in round number one. He fought against Narong Bunchan and uh, he was able to score two knockdowns which uh, led to a TKO victory in Glenn Tapia's favor which is good because honestly when I first heard about this fight I was like oh shoot I don't want to see Glenn Tapia go to the hospital because the last time we saw him in the ring it ah, it wasn't good the last few times we saw him in the ring you can tell that he has faded he just gets hit clean easy and uh, by the way, if you're wondering when was the last time we saw him in the ring, it was in 2017 against Gabe Rosado. And before that, he lost to Jason Quigley, uh, you know, getting destroyed by David Lemieux and M Mikel Soro. You know, he hasn't been all that good the past uh, few, f four times he fought before uh, retiring, actually. He kind of retired after the Rosado fight, but he came back for this fight against... Um, Narong Bunchan and I don't know why Boxerek hasn't updated it uh, they, they have yet to update it still but yeah it was a first round TKO win in uh, Glenn Tapia's favor so with this win he improves to 24 and 5 16 wins come by way of knockout TKO his opponent Narong Bunchan going into this fight he had 8 losses going into this fight he too was coming off losses going into this fight looks like he's one of those fighters that fought for the most part over in Dubai, I mean not Dubai, uh, Thailand, in his country of Thailand. Looks like he fought in Indonesia a couple times. He fought outside uh, his country in Russia, lost against uh, Rakimov. He fought in Macau against Jin, lost that fight. You know, he's a cannon fodder fighter. He's a guy that you hire to lose to. And, and uh, Glenn Tapia ended up winning this fight. The only thing that worries me about this, I mean, it's a good thing that he won, Glenn Tapia. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy for him, for him to win this fight. But the thing that is scary is that this fight, this win, might lead to more dangerous fights for Glenn Tapia. And the last thing I want is to see him in there against a top 15 guy or a top 20 guy, a young up and comer, and he gets destroyed. And, uh,. You know, things won't look good for him. So, I, I wish Glenn Tapia nothing but the best, man. I, I've always been a fan of his. Um, always been rooting for him. But, but yeah, it, it's... I hope he retires after this. You know, get a win and retire. But, I'm sure there's going to be some promoter out there that will offer him good money to fight some young up-and-comer. And I truly hope he doesn't take it, man. How, how old is Glenn Tapia? Doesn't show his age here. Um, I don't know why they don't show their age anymore in in boxer. But yeah, he's 31 years old. 31 years old. I mean, he's still young, yes. But if you saw his last fights before this one, it, it didn't look good. Honestly, it did not look good. So... Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.